All right, we have made it. Dr. Stone, episodes 8 and 9. This one is called The Final Battle. We are nearing the end of the season. I do know a season 3 has been announced, I'm pretty sure. So I'm eager to see where this leads. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Dr. Stone's episode 8 and 9. Like I said last episode, we ended off with Chrome getting himself out, and then we had user Reha uh, revealing her secret mission, and then Ukio as well with our team up, and Taiju. We have our full Kingdom of Science deck of cards waiting and ready to be played, but on the flip side, Tsukasa has discovered the cell phone. So he, do, he does know something is up and is probably going to be planning accordingly. So with that being said, we are building up to the climax of this season. And I am eager to find out what happens. I, I gotta find out. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching. We are four episodes ahead. Links to the Patreon are down in the description like always for you guys. Make sure to check that out. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. All at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated y'all. Let's hop into this. Dr. Stone. Season 2, Episodes 8 and 9, Final Battle, and To Destroy, and To Save. Let's do this. Alright. What are they showing? Underground water? What is Minecraft? It's leading to an underground cave system or ravine? Oh, is it showing the cave with the nitric acid over the years? And it dripped on the side of the mountain and it dripped on the Senku where he happened to be revived and he was the first person. So that's how it happened. He's looking back on it, remembering that that's the cave. Touche. That commands both life and death in this scenario. This is quite the important area. Ukio heard something. Look at the steam gorilla. We got that first 20 seconds to leave an impression on them. Alright, Captain Senku reporting for duty. Double wobbler engine, let's get it going. Steam Gorilla, move out! It's crazy to think about. These are the most important 20 seconds of your life. The final battle, here we go. Countdown. Start. When the glass jar full of sulfuric acid shatters on impact, what's going to happen? It'll mix with the fuel made from alcohol and coal ash and seem like a mortar fire. Yeah. It looked like a giant Hollywood budget explosion. Yeah, Magma would do fine in the modern world. That's hilarious. Yeah, how do you counterattack? In these situations in which you can't kill, you have your shield, your defense. Carbon shield. Look at how dope that looks. Kingdom of Science coming through. That's my wife, Uko Haku. <laughs> nice. Well done. Disarm them. Steam Gorilla's down. Magma, you're up. What's Magma's... What's he doing? What's his objective? Say please. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, 
Acoustic weapon. The shot cannon. <laughs> Look at their face. That is actually insane. Shouts out to the acoustic shot cannon. Okay. Okay. I mean, that is exactly what a journalist does. I don't know why we're looking. Oh, she has a crush on Tsukasa. Ukiya was not letting anyone leave. Sorry, Missy. Minami. I never knew her name. Damn, that defused one of the sonic bombs. He's gonna scream. He's gonna bellow into it. Be ready. And he's gonna tank the absorption on his side. Taiju really is an animal. That man is an animal. Successfully captured. So far, everything's gone according to plan, which makes me think it's not going to go according to plan. You think about it, that only took 20 seconds, and we did it. This is one of my favorite songs they play in the show, though, like the emotional one, you know? They play it during flashbacks a lot. That feels like forever ago he said that. kingdom of science has prevailed through all our trials and tribulations all our obstacles we've overcome them and we are here we have progress it has been quite the quite the journey quite the year-long journey sulfur and charcoal ready Oh, he hears something. Impossible. They're coming in so fast. Ukio seems, at the very minimum, very injured. He could be dead. Yeah, the two strongest people here by far. Been, I was about to say, it's been a minute since they've seen each other. <laughs> I'm sad I have to take your life twice. <laughs> Even after I crawled my way out of hell to meet you. It's, it seems though, like the starter kit for the gunpowder is gone. That's what we needed. That's literally the the win condition. But now what? But this time, right now, what what difference do we have? Without question. And our friend, I like that addition. Cause he did win the thing that made him the village leader, but no, he's also a homie. <laughs> Everyone needs their motivation. It has indeed been a <laughs> been a while. Hajime Mashite. We are the kingdom of science. She has to, because... I guess we're just going straight up against Tsukasa and Hyoga. That's, that is their job. I sure hope so.
Uh huh. Or by science. By the science built by humanity itself. The nature that gave humanity strength, or the science that humanity built itself. This is crazy. I have no idea what's going to happen. The final battle, which I thought would be the final battle, is not over yet. Alright, on to episode 9. To destroy and to save. This is the final battle. Defend the Miracle Cave. What did you see? Okay. I agree. What can we do? Which he is so known for. He's a looter. Even though he's so big and strong, he's so elegant and fast, you know? Oh my god. It's a valid point. He can't dodge. Let's do the shot cannon again. And that's gone. Snake poop or lizard poop? Makes urea nitrate. It's not the best weapon, but it's better than nothing. I know. If the uric acid and feces break... Okay. You gotta watch this poop break down. Uh, nothing is happening so far. I respect that. But they got the tag team Genro Kenro cooperative move with Magma on the three way. Oh my god. Tsukasa is too nice with it. No one can take him. I can't blame anyone. These guys are unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. That would kill so many of those people last time. He has sulfuric acid? How? Oh, that is true. Leftovers from the bluff. Okay. It's chock full of glycerin. That is true. I remember. Oh my god, yes. It's our Dr. Stone. I forgot that's the title of the sh I don't forget that's the title of the show, but how they came up with that. Our battle started with soap, and now it ends with soap. Dr. Stone. That's all that is, science, you know? The science team to turn the tides. Will they be able to? That's how you know there's some real ones right there. Nitroglycerin. The stuff Bakugo sweats out. Literally very flammable and explosive. Oh yeah, you can bet your butt I am not going to. A paper airplane. How to throw it without jostling. <laughs> Omega? What is it? Da I didn't know that. Nitroglycerin. Oh my lord. Yeah. This is the power of the gunpowder we've been seeking. Human strength is laughable in comparison to the power of science. And Ukyo's still alive. Yeah, he will snipe you with that. Yeah, a dynamite arrow, dynamite tipped arrow shot by Ukyo is one of the scariest things in this time. I've never seen Hyoga's face. Hey, ergo Sukasa.
Now, he's not wrong about that, especially if he were to go towards people, the people he cares about. Is what? To negotiate? To parlay? That's a good point. It's a good social deduction, social observation. Yeah, the one who was, uh, it was like an asshole owner of a beach, right? He took her to a beach and, oh, that's horribly sad. And he went to go get her seashells from a beach and the owner of the beach, who was like a drunken asshole, like beat the shit out of him, right? We were able to get one though. Looks like mom or dad. I assume dad was an alcoholic. That's when he started working out. He didn't give a shit anymore. Look at this kid. And then he grew. He just kept getting bigger and more brawlic. During the day, he would interview, be famous, make money, do what he can. During the night, he'd go visit his sister. With all the shells. And he would still stay there. No matter how old he got. No matter how long it's been. That's horribly sad. No matter how many years or decades it takes. Whether it's 3,000 years in the future. It's a good transition. That was a good flashback. With this. With the peripheral healing effect. Yeah, he was literally dead. I feel like Sukasa would believe that. He knows Senku as a man of his word, honestly. Like, they've never had qualms in terms of each other's personal issues, you know? It's always just been political and, and worldly disagreements, you know? This is the outcome to this that I was not expecting at all. Holy shit. They always find a way to shock me and surprise me. <laughs> that is really bad. That is true. That is also true. It's a tough decision when it truly comes down to it, you know? Who to save, who not to save. I mean, it's still flawed, and obviously we can still agree to disagree. But he stuck to his guns, and I can respect that. And it, it is true from a certain perspective, you know, so... Oh, no. Did the guy Nobel, is that his name? Nobel? He invented dynamite and he used the money from inventing that to create the Nobel Peace Prize or to Nobel Prize and help further scientific advancements? He found her. Mirai. That's crazy. This is crazy, man. I cannot believe how that this this ended. Talk about a good two episodes. I mean, from the first episode to actually counting down those 20 seconds and making it a successful ambush, whether it be fighting, whether it be Taiju with the ultimate carbon shield, whether it be using strength, using them the like that mortar sulfuric acid shot, the one time shot from the tank. It was just, it was really well rounded and really well executed, and it worked out damn near flawlessly. If, you know, Sukasa and Hyoga really hadn't found that phone, they would have had a lot more time, could have made the gunpowder, could have had way more of an advantage to levy the negotiations, but we had to do what we had to do. 
And when shit hit the fan and they did come back, shout out to the to the attack team to take the brunt force of everything up until the scientific team, aka Senku, uh, was able to come up with something. And so that's a lot of faith and respect in our boys. So I respect the Ishigami village for doing that. And there's some real ones, but also on the scientific team, shout out to Chrome for thinking on the fly, which he is just goaded at. That man is the on the fly thinker. That man needs to do improv classes or something. But him mixed with Gen's idea for the paper airplanes and then putting that on like a paper tipped arrow for Ukyo, insane. And then to levy those last negotiations with that flashback with Tsukasa, how he was talking about his initial motivation for the things in terms of purifying humanity that he was going to do was his sister. And now that that's a chance to be changed and a chance to be redeemed, you know, he's willing to take that and do whatever is necessary. Ergo, a, a truce, a, a temporary, albeit, but in the meantime, truce, which is insane. Cannot believe that's happening. You know, so like everything went perfectly according to plan. And then when it didn't, it still went for and the teamwork is just all there. Like it's just it's working out great. I am genuinely curious how this is going to end and what the next part is going to be. Are we going to work this out and still have Sukasa as our enemy? Or what is our main? Are we going to work together to try to fix the stone issue for everyone? I have no idea. I'm super excited, though. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, and full length. It is a good time over there. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great night. Peace.